Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, to answer a question that I've got uh, quite a few times about the next feature update of Windows 11. Where and what, what it's going to you know look like, what do we know about it, when is it going to arrive. So we know that in February we've got minor updates. We already talked about them in several videos. But we also know that 22H2 the big update for Windows 11 is a thing that's going to happen in October, November of this year. It's in the second half of the year, but we know that's somewhere like in October, November, like they usually do for the next versions. What do we know about it? What we know is that there are going to be some changes. Uh, one of them, we know that tablet mode is going to be changed slightly. Right now, when you go to tablet mode, because everybody knows in Windows 10, you go to tablet mode, you just click tablet mode, your computer behaves like a tablet, even if it's not a tablet. In Windows 11, it's an automatic process. It detects a keyboard. If it doesn't see a keyboard, it actually thinks, well, this must be a tablet. The problem is that taskbar at the bottom that we see here is always there, even in the touch um, even in the touch mode. And of course, a lot of the touch mode users don't necessarily want to use the uh, taskbar. So the taskbar we know is going to have an uh, auto hide feature for tablet mode. So when you go into tablet mode, it's going to be gone. So you'll have a little more space on that screen. We know there's going to be a rearrangement of some of the icons and the ways that things happen with uh, the start menu. We also know that the start menu the pinned apps recommended features there's going to be some change coming with that as we uh, go into that update we don't see much of it yet but if you want to test that before probably the, de the dev channel is going to show us a few more features so there's a few things like that that we know we know that it's going to have a revamped uh, task manager which is going to look like this it's going to have information at the top. It's going to have information about your PC. It will be similar but different at the same time with all of the information that it actually will have with that ribbon at the top that has information about your computer. So there are going to be changes. The task manager is being kind of uh, updated to more of a fluent style design, rounded edges and so on coming uh, eventually. So there's going to be an upgrade to this um, coming up also in the fall. So these are a few of the things that we know. Uh, anything else? Well, they are working on narrator voices. One of the things about narrator is that the voices, even though narrator voices aren't that bad, the narrator voices still sound Start narrator window, narrator heading level 1. Welcome to narrator. Weird. This is narrator home, where you can get help, access your settings, and learn about new features. And so narrator is a screen reader that describes aloud what's on your screen. Narrator. So you exiting narrator. So, you know, the voices don't sound that natural. Microsoft is working on what's called natural narr narrator voices using AI. This is going to be much more um, human-like, if you want, more modern. And uh, this is, we know, coming out in uh, the next version of Windows 11. So that's going to be interesting to test out also the more natural voices that will be in there. We know that the um, lock screen, when you start your PC, you've got your lock screen. There's going to be updates on the flyouts of the information if you're listening to music, if you're getting calls from your phone or whatever. The flyouts are going to be more modern. They're going to look more um, like a flyout little window rather than just information displayed on the log screen. Um, so that's going to be something new. The browser, the Microsoft Edge browser will have, um, and, and not just the browser, but the, the whole... Um, experience with uh, the apps that you can snap together is going to be um, also bringing us new ways and new styles and more customizable experience of snapping windows together. So um, some of them are going to be available in the dev channel. Some of them are for some of you already and some of them are coming in the, in the next few months. 
but uh, there are definitely some changes coming. No real news about the taskbar changes in there, Me being able to move it, you know, to different sides of the screen and so on. Uh, we'll see what happens with all of that eventually. But um, there's definitely going to be some changes and probably we'll learn even more changes as time goes by. I expect that to bring quite a lot of changes to Windows 11 and, um, you know, be kind of version 2 of Windows 11 eventually. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.